Hey Planty fam, welcome back to the channel for another episode of Philodendron Friday. Today we're going to be talking about Philodendron Bloody Mary. Let's go! Hey, welcome back. Today we're talking about philodendron irubescence bloody mary. This is a really fun, unique cultivar of philodendron. It has very lancet leaves, and the new foliage comes out this very deep reddish burgundy. It's really, really pretty. As the leaves age, the adaxial or top surface of the leaf will age to this really dark emerald green, and the abaxial or undersurface of the leaves tend to stay a little bit more coppery burgundy brown. This cultivar has been around for many years and is thought to have maybe been a previous cultivar and somebody just didn't know what they had and gave it a new name. As with most philodendrons, this can tolerate ambient humidity in your home, so they can do very well without having any added humidity, but they do like to have a little extra bump if you have the ability. They do like to be kept above 55 degrees, ideally 65 to 90. Uh, Philodendron Bloody Mary is a climbing or tree type philodendron, so it will climb up a moss pole, a totem, or a plank if you give it the opportunity. This cultivar is fairly easy to find. I have seen them in many nurseries, and this specimen I got um, maybe two leaves ago for $15 at a local plant shop very easy to get and a really really fun pretty color now you can see on this plant that it has a leaf kind of stuck in the sheath um i'll give you a little pro tip while you never want to pry this out with your fingers and risk breaking off the leaf the petiole or even damaging it just get yourself a wet q-tip and what you'll do is you'll slide this wet q-tip up underneath where it's stuck and gently rotate while pushing forward Thanks for joining us today for another episode of Philodendron Friday. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.